Hey, this is Joe. Just a little overview of my toolbox today. Harbor Freight box. Uh, got some regular tool trays on the side. Really nice to have. Hold parts quite nicely. Got a little bigger one for bigger parts down there. Helps with like valve jobs and stuff. Um, first drawer in the side cabinet. I got some torques. Missed them, but they're impacting. Nice one here. Use it for. Uh, they're all tamper proof. Mainly T60 used for GM. Wheel front wheel bearings on the cars. A couple impact sockets down here. They don't really matter. I don't even use them anymore. Um, yeah, some Harbor Freight half-inch swivel impacts. I got my Snap-on 3/8 stride swivel sockets, all metric. Razor blade, another knife. And I got some of my uh, impacting drill bits. Next door down is kind of my socket and Allen place. I got a couple of torque screws over there. Standard Allen sockets, but all my you know quarter inch extensions, anything along that line, pretty much a couple of spare ratchets, little itty bitty ratchets. Um next door besides that, a couple of lights. Really nice to have. Got a knife under that. It's kind of my whizzy wheel discs. Cheap code reader, air tool oil, step drill bits, pens, relay testers, what have you. <laughs> then I got my standard wrench drawer. Not much here, but some new Craftsman wrenches and a couple of Mac ones and inch and a sixteenth. Good for EGR valves and pretty much anything. I got some blue point wrenches. Right Air hammer drawer. I think this snap on air hammer, the PH3850, is pretty much the best out there from what I've tried. Um, pickle fork set, standard bits, what have you. Then I got my air tool drawer. Nice Mac, half inch, well, they're one spare ones. 3 8 drive, I always get a 3 8 drive. Nice to have if you like air tools. Some people are against them, but they save time. I got a couple things on here. That's an axle nut socket set. It's got 27 through 39 from Mac. Quite expensive, you can find cheaper ones out there. Um, yeah, this is my brake caliper piston pusher inset. Nice to have those if you do a lot of brake jobs. Or if you have a car that detakes it, but there's ways to work around them all the time. Big top drawer. Here's my half inch uh, torque wrench Husky Pro. Quite nice. Um, like snap on. Quite nice. Quarter inch drive flex ratchet. Got two flex ratchets. Three actually, but two half inch drive ones. One's a Craftsman. One's uh, Mac Tools. Very nice. Then I got my 21 inch snap on half inch drive. Nice, all fine tooth. I really like it. Other than that, I have found that these, the Craftsman Professional ratchets, are a little more polished. They're actually quite nice. Got my impact sockets, metric. Um, then I got some more swivel sockets in here, magnetized to the side. Some standard sockets if I ever need them. Um, more non impacting swivel sockets, all my quarter inch drive. People, all these are nice organizers. And my 3 8 drive sockets, and I got a couple half inch drive sockets here on a 3 8 tray, but it works. Um, if I ever do need standard sockets, I got a little upper toolbox here. Which I don't really use much, but all my standard stuff's pretty much in there that I rarely touch. Um, next drawer down. Screwdriver, electrical drawer. A couple screwdriver, a screwdriver holder. I thought it was quite nifty. You know, holds all my screwdrivers. I don't have anything crazy good, but you know, it works. A couple torque drivers that came with the set. Um, picks. I was gonna want picks. They're really nice. A couple cheapies here too. 
um, snap on pick, bigger one, uh, kind of bent it. Then, uh, you know, door trim tool, DVOM, test light. Door down besides that, wrench door, metric wrenches. I got my blue point, ratchet wrenches. I got some Craftsman Professional wrenches. I think they're a lot better quality than you know, normal Craftsman. Some people claim they're made in China, they're not. Um, it's regular Craftsman ratchet wrenches. I just have in there some other miscellaneous wrenches, all metric in this drawer. Pry bar drawer. You always need your pry bar. It's files. Pay the more tool, what have you. Pliers drawer. Always need a good assortment of pliers. Make sure you get some long ones. These come in very handy. Um, hammer drawer. And I buy a Mac hammer. Made by Stanley, but they are great. A um, couple strap wrenches for whatever you need them for. Miscellaneous kind of tool drawer, siphon pump, bolts, fuel pressure gauge. Okay. Top drawer kind of stuck. Vice grips and others, what have you. A couple Allen keys. Feeler gauge for when you gotta feel stuff out. Brake tool gauge for how good your brake pads are. You know, basically for drum brakes, but they get a just brake pad spreader. But your standard sizes you kind of find on brakes. Um, have a die set. I don't know what stethoscope. Very nice to have those. Find out a lot of problems with injectors. Nut drivers. Literally never use these. That's why, you know, I just really, I mean, sometimes if you're working on ATVs or carburetors and stuff, but they just, I never really use them. Drill bits and whatever have you not. Old time set. You know, left hand drill bits. Left hand drill bits are for, uh, Trying to drill a bolt, I'll use the drill in reverse for those. Or step drill bit. And some rigid power tools. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'll add in the collection as I go. Um, but yeah, it's pretty decent size, and they got some toolboxes up top and oil and everything else. Everything a car mechanic needs. Name's Joe, if you didn't know.